Okay, so in this video, I wanted to go over some interesting promo cards, in my opinion, in MetaZoo. So, at the end of this video, comment below as always and let me know what you think. So, this is the 4th of July promo card. I feel it's very underrated. Very nice, very cool. I think this is going to have a lot of nostalgia in the future. But the thing is, maybe not many people know about it. So, hopefully, people watch this video and are like, oh yeah, 4th of July marketplace promo card that cost five bucks so I got a few of them as a PSA 10 I ordered four and three of them came back as a PSA 10 one was a PSA 6 I don't even know where it is now I probably threw it as far as I could like a frisbee but um we got the second edition promos the probably the least popular out of all the promo cards for the anniversaries just because it's the most basic artwork it's still nice but compared to first and third anniversary this is probably everyone's least favorite. But one thing I do want to point out about this is they all say light balloon on it. And if you go on the PSA pop report, there's like 20 or 30 that have dark balloon. But some of these are darker than others. Um, as you can see, if I can get the lighting right, that's like a kind of reddish. This is like a middle grayish reddish. And this is definitely more gray than the other two. Yeah, the lighting should be good there. I mean, clearly there's a difference, but they're all labeled the same, so it doesn't matter to me. They all got PSA 10, which is cool. This one I actually received from MetaZoo Discord when they had a second year anniversary contest for top 25 stories about your experience with MetaZoo. They actually sent me this one for free, and I got a PSA 10, so that's cool. Um, yeah. So this one is from World Poker Tour, the set that just, I don't know, went to zero faster than a meteorite, but I still like it. But I wonder in the future if there will be any more demand or popularity around this just because it's red ink. So let me know what you think about that. I think that's interesting and super nice. This card's a lot nicer than people remember, I think. Uh, this is probably the nicest non-hollow, well it's not a promo card, but it's probably the nicest non-hollow card I've seen in MetaZoo. And there's some pretty good artworks out there, but this is just so cool. Look at this dude. I mean, what is he saying? Comment below, what do you think this guy is saying right now? third one somewhere else I know I have two of these is PSA 10 so this is the promo you get for the first fan art contest where you can get this card from I think this card is so underrated this is such a nice card and it's so iconic I think it will be anyways I mean it's from the first fan art contest which is a crazy thing I don't know what does it say down here oh redemption yeah it's a redemption card so if you sent it in for to do the, um, the drawings for the second fan art contest, you sent this in and then they'll actually send this back to you stamped. But no one's seen those yet, but they're coming. But uh, yeah, I don't know if any other TCGs or any card game does that where fans can actually send in the, their own personal artwork and actually get, you know, like this card here. This was a random fan. This isn't one of the regular MetaZoo artists. Uh, I can't read it, whatever. But here's a promo card that I'm sure a lot of people know about, but comment below too. Like there's no first edition stamp here. There's nothing down there and it's from 2020. So I know Argos talks a lot about say like um, New Year's New Beginnings. It's one of the first cards printed after sample cards and all this stuff. But when was this printed? Cause this is 2020. Even though it says 2021 up here from PSA, but the card down here, it says 2020 that it was made. And 2020 is Kickstarter slash sample era. So I wonder, yeah, anyways, if anyone knows any information about this card, definitely comment below about that. I think that's cool. And it's a must have Chupacabra. Look at that artwork, like how unique is that? 
That is cool. I wish there was more cards like this in a set. Like this is almost like Hero Quest where it's just like out of this world outwork artwork. I guess Hero Quest is more robotic, but this is just crazy. I wish there's more cards with this like funky artwork like this. So and it's illustrated by Andrew Wilson. I don't even know who Andrew Wilson is. Interesting. Comment below if you know anything more about that card. And one of the most underrated promo cards, but is amazing to look at, is this one, the Chibi Jackalope. I mean, tell me how nice this card is. Damn. That is super nice. Who drew this, oh, Sebastian Botello? Yeah, man. Anyways, let me know what you think of these cards, if you know any additional information. I guess this was not a promo card. I don't know why I put that in there. I just think it's badass artwork. That's not really a promo card either. These definitely were. And what do we got here? Yeah, the 4th of July. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Why do we have these out here? Let's get the big boys for the end of the video. So we got that. Oh, Chupacabra's got to stay out. Let's have, just have a good display piece. At least my favorite cards in here. Yeah, and the fire dude. Only time you ever see me showcase a non hollow card. <clears throat> but that looks nice. Anyways, let me know what you think. Comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.